What's up guys, Super K Sharpening here. I have my Tormek T4 out for you guys. This was a viewer request and I have a, I think this is a Maxim MAX AM knife. I, I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. This is one of my own personal knives that I have in my collection. Um, and I wanted to try it out with the Tormek. So what we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna color the bevel and then we're gonna grade the stone and then I already have the angle set up. I did it off camera, but we're gonna color in the bevel to make sure that we're matching it. And that way y'all can see kind of the whole walkthrough process. And you wanna make sure that your water trough is full. I have a big Yeti full of just plain old tap water that I use, just cold water. And um, I like to do it running and you'll see the stone gets saturated with water. So what we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna color our bevel. So we got the bevel colored on both sides. And actually I'm gonna color the whole thing so we know, so y'all can kind of see this as we go. So we got the whole thing colored there. And to use the Tormec, you rest this piece right here on the system. And then the stones are all spinning this way. So what I do is I set the stone or the, the holder on there with the knife, manually rotate the stone with my hand. And as you can see, we're taking off the Sharpie. So we'll sharpen at that angle. So we're gonna turn the system on, set this on there and bring it down to the stop. And then that I can feel is a thousand grit. So we'll take our stone grater here. It's a combination stone. So we have around a thousand for the smooth side and then around 100 for the coarse side. So this is the coarse, this is the fine. So what we'll do is we'll take the coarse side and set it on top of the stone. You don't have to press down, you just let it sit there for a second or two. set the knife down and then bring it to the stop. Make a slow pass and then you tilt up towards the tip and then come back down. And as you can see, we removed almost all the Sharpie with one pass. So we still need a little bit of work back here and then a little bit of work towards the tip, but we have it spot on guys. So we're gonna do a little bit more work towards the tip and then towards the heel. And one thing about this system is I'd highly recommend standing up at a table that's about waist high or higher. Just find something that's your height preference me personally, I'm not as proficient with the system sitting down. But to adjust the angles, you can spin this knob and then you can adjust these. And then there's an actual little uh, disc over here that you can spin to kind of fine tune it. But like I said, I've already done that off camera. And as y'all can see with the Sharpie all being, on, all being gone, we have it at the right angle. So we're gonna finish working on the tip there and then we'll check for a bird. So you don't have to press down at all. With my left hand, with my thumb, I'm just supporting the knife and just keeping it flush to the stone. Then when you're coming towards the tip, 
you kind of tilt up. But see there, we're starting to move more of that, we're starting to move more of that Sharpie towards the tip. So, there we go. So we just need a little bit more work on the tip and then a few spots here and there, but that's that's 100 grit or around 100 grit for the Tormek. So we're gonna work on that spot right there and then a little bit more on the tip. And we already have a burr, so that's how quick it is. You have to be very careful with this machine because you can remove metal very fast. So we're gonna continue working on the tip a little bit and then we'll switch to the other side. Ears removed. So now we can check for our burr. You want it for the full length of the blade. And we almost have it for the full length, but not, not quite there yet. So we're going to do a little bit more work to get our burr. Okay, so we have a burr for the full length of the blade, so now we're going to flip it over and remove all that sharpie on the other side. So to do that, you just simply flip it over, set it on the rest, bring it to the stop, bring the knife straight down, and you want to be mindful not to run into the strop wheel. see we're starting to remove that sharpie so we hit it spot on right there and we just need to keep going with a little bit more work to remove that sharpie towards the tip but everywhere else is looking nice so we're gonna work a little bit more towards the tip of the knife but as you can see all the sharpies are moved we'll work a little bit on that to even out the the bevel oh yeah we'll work on that spot a little bit to even out the bevel and then a little bit more on the tip so we're just gonna do some more grinding so we've matched the bevels 
they're looking nice. So that's the first side we worked with. And then this is the side we're working on. So we're gonna work, I've said it a few times, towards the tip. And then a little bit back here to match. So we'll keep working. So we're almost there. I like how that's coming out. It's starting to look a lot nicer. Here we go. It's a nice shot of it. So we'll work a little bit right there and then a little bit towards the tip and then we'll have it matched. And with my pointer finger, I'm feeling a very nice burr for the length of the blade. So whenever I fix the tip right there, we can. I'll show you all how to remove the, the burr. So once again, I like to set it on the bar and then slide down to the stop. And then bring the knife, you just tilt the knife straight down. No pressure. With my thumb, I'm only supporting the knife so it doesn't tilt. And there you go. So we got it. I know you see the sharp up there, but that's not the that's not really on the bevel. And I'm happy with the results of that. It's very uniform. It's straight. It's not a wobbly. It's not a wobbly sort of bevel. Nice clean grind. And then there's the other side. So now we have the burr on this side. So we need to remove it. To remove the burr, you just do the lightest pass as possible. So set it on there, bring it to the stop, bring it straight down. Very light pass. And then check for your burr. There's no burr on that side. And there's no burr on that side. So from here, what you do, you leave the system running, you take your stone grater again. So we were just working on the coarse side, so now we're gonna flip it to the fine side, which is around a thousand. So you take it, set it on top of the stone. I like to move it back and forth to have equal tear, wear and tear on my stone. Should be good right there and then you set the knife back down and then you you redevelop a burr with a thousand grit so i'm going to start on this side so set it on the stone on the i set the stone set it on the rod bring it to the stop towards the tip Tilt a little bit. Then come back. Okay. 
So I get asked this a bunch, is the Tour Mech gonna give me a mirror finish? So this is the 1000 grit. Very pretty edge. Let me try to get some more of that water off for you. So it's a very pretty edge. Not completely mirrored, but pretty close. And there's the 100 grit. So it may be a little bit harder to tell on camera, but with the 100 grit, I'm looking through my camera, I can see the grind lines on the 100. So you can see that they're all going in the downward direction, if that makes any sense at all. Whereas on this one, the grind lines aren't as easy to see. So we're gonna finish up with the other side. I have a burr, and it's for the full length of the blade. So we're going to polish this side and then we'll move to the strop. And when you're sharpening on either side, you got to either watch out for the, I guess, the heel of the knife or the tip of the knife because you don't want to bump into the strop and then you don't want to bump the tip into the, the, the wheel whenever you're using the strop, which I'll show you all when we get to that stage. Look at that pretty edge. So it's looking really pretty right now. And then we already have a burr for the full length of the blade. So from here, I'm actually refining a little bit more. There's still a little spot up here that I want to try to work on. And then there's that tiny spot up there that I want to try to work on as well. But the edge is looking fantastic. And I know for a fact this thing's going to be sharp. but we're gonna make it better. One thing, I may have mentioned it, but whenever you're sharpening with the Tormek, so you'll look at your bevel, your water should go up to the top of your bevel. So at the bottom of my finger, your water line should stay with that. And that's how you know you're making even contact with the, the sharpening wheel. So you should see water cover your entire bevel whenever you're sharpening. And you also have to be very sure aware that your your water trough is full of water and there's a stop line on it so you don't overfill it speaking of which I'm not under the amount that I need but I'm gonna add a little bit more water so set it back on the, the bar bring it to the stop keep it nice and straight And you can do forward and back motions with the Tormek, it won't hurt it. Just make sure you keep everything even. You don't want to sit in one spot too long because they'll remove a lot of material very fast. So that's what we have so far. Real pretty edge. And then we have a burr for the full length of the blade. So to take the burr off like we did earlier, we're gonna sharpen on this side on an extremely light pass. And then we'll do an extremely light pass on this side and then we'll go to the strop wheel. So I'm checking for my burr on that side. I'm checking for a burr on this side. A little pinch test to see if it's on either side. It's not, so we're gonna do one very light pass on this side and then we'll move the straps. So 
Now there's still a little bit of a burr up here on the tip, so we'll try to take that off. You can also remove the burr with the strop wheel, but I like to do it with the stone. Okay, so the burr on the tip's gone, so now what I do is the strop, like I said, is spinning that way, and you have to have it going away from the edge. If it's coming towards the edge, you'll destroy your strop wheel. So to take the knife out, hold on to the knife a little bit, and then unscrew this wheel. And then it should come out unless you have this secondary tightening wheel really tight. And then I'm going to wipe off my blade again to get any water off so I don't get it on my straw. And then you just try to find your angle as best to your ability. And if your knife's really long, you got to make sure you don't hit the tip on this, otherwise you'll grind down your tip. And so that's one pass on the straw. So that's kind of the edge around what you can expect of the Tormek. Plus, I have a, a higher emulsion on the wheel there. And in fact, I'm going to put some more on there. I'll show you all how to do that as well while we're doing it. So I like this emulsion. And if I can get it to focus, that is point. 0.25 microns. So what I do, I like to turn the system off, put a little dot on there, and then you use the heel of your knife. So this part back here, you're not trying to like sharpen that or anything or polish it, but you just want to use that to spread it. So set the heel of your knife on there, spread it around, get it fully into the strop, nice and saturated. And sometimes I'll spread it in the rest of my finger. And then I still have some emulsion on the top of the knife there. So I'll spread it in there. So now that's the side we stropped before I added the emulsion. And that's the same emulsion that I have on the wheel. I just added some more. So very nice edge compared to the side that we haven't stopped. So they're still very nice. So when you do the other side, you kind of want to do like an X pattern so you don't run into your, your grinding wheel. So you start normal and then kind of turn. Be careful with the tip to not poke down, otherwise you'll cut your strop. And with the strop wheel, it's the same thing, very light pressure. Let the weight of the knife do all the work. That's a sharp knife. So I'm gonna get a fresh sheet of notebook paper and then we'll do a little cut test. So we got us a sheet of notebook paper and then our knife there with a nice pretty edge. Wipe it off a little bit.
And there you go. That's sharpening with the Tormek, guys. The biggest takeaway that I have for you is I would sharpen with knives that you're willing to sacrifice um, to start off with as a learning curve because you remove metal very fast with a, a motorized wheel. And then I would also recommend doing it standing up. Um, find you a desk or a table or something that has an elevated platform that's about waist high and I think your results will be a lot better. To the reviewer who requested me to make this video, I'm sorry it took a while to, to get this video out. I wanted to hone my skills to sharpen to the best of my abilities before I put it, put it on YouTube for you guys to see. Um, if there's anything else that y'all wanna see, send me a message on my Instagram account at Super K Sharpening. Uh, I'll try to get it on there or leave me a comment in the, in the video. I would appreciate any subscriptions. I do all these videos for you guys. Um, I'm trying to build up this YouTube channel with as much knowledge as I've obtained over the years with the different sharpeners. I'll try to keep making these videos for you guys. I really enjoy them. But anyway, stay safe and stay sharp. Super K Sharpening, checking out.